this tutorial I'm going to show you how easy it is to start your own blog using Blogger. So open up a browser, head over to www.blogger.com and we can get started. Now Blogger is owned by Google so the first step in creating a Blogger account is really to create a Google account. If you already have a Google account you can go ahead and log in right up here. If you don't, you can click on this big create a blog button and fill out the requisite information here. They're looking for an email address and a password, what the display name is. You'll want to use um, you know, your username that will be associated here with the blog posts. Um, and some additional information and a little word verification and acceptance of the terms. So if you fill that stuff out, you're going to have a Google account created for you, which will give you access to the many wonderful free Google tools that there are and it will be your first step in getting going here on your blogger blog. Now the sequence of steps may vary uh, just very slightly if you use this create a blog button to go ahead and create your uh, Google account um, but the goal is basically to log in now to your blogger account using your Google account credentials and that's going to take you to your blogger dashboard page where you can create blogs and do some other things to manage your new blog. Alright, so let's go ahead and create our blog. I'm going to click on this create a blog link and it's going to bring me over to a screen where I'm going to have to just put in a little bit of information. What do I want the blog title to be? And then the very important part where I'm going to indicate uh, what the unique part of the URL is. All blogger blogs get a blogspot.com address and I have to go ahead in here and create what I want this little prefix to be. I need to check its availability and I knew I had already used that one. I just wanted to show you how uh, you know if you come up with one that's already been used you're gonna have to come up with a more unique URL um, and in this case I just changed it a little bit and now I have an address that's available. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the little word verification and continue on to the next screen. On the next screen, I'm going to get some starter templates to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and select one of those. Uh, as it indicates, I will get the ability to change it later if I want. And this just allows me to get started going on to the next step. And as it tells me, my blog's been created, so let's start blogging. Click on this next link here, and it's going to bring me to the area where I can go ahead and create my first blog post. All right, so let's go ahead and create a test post and post it up there and see what it looks like. Uh, as we can see, we've got a few controls here to give us some functionality, like to uh, make some text bold, for example, or to add in a hyperlink, or to bring in video or bring in images. So pretty easy to walk through that process. and. Um, as you can see it's really quite simple the interface and I'm gonna go ahead and you can I can hit save now and then come back and edit it and once it's ready to go I could publish it in this case I'm gonna go ahead and just click on publish and publish it out there and now it gives me this view post option so I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks like and there is my first very simple uh, blog post the next thing I want to do just to kinda of convince myself of uh, the fact that this URL of emergingedtech1.blogspot.com is set up and fully functional is go just to that URL and there, are, there we go I see my test post is up and is uh, available to the world. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign out and then I'm gonna go back to blogger.com just to show that if you know tomorrow or next week or whenever I want to come back here and I want to continue working on my blog all I have to do is come on back sign in using those Google account credentials that I created and it's going to take me to my profile I can add new blogs I can go to my existing blog here that I just created add a new post um, I can go to edit posts and you know, pick up the one I was working on and continue working on it. Uh, I can make drafts and then publish things when I'm ready. And uh, there's help options over here to allow me to learn more about how to use Blogger. Uh, there is a lot of help available. Um, videos and text tu tutorials and all kinds of neat stuff to help me understand the kinds of things that I can do with uh, Blogger. 
here I'm clicking on blogger basics and I get a, a list of different things I can do about customizing and sharing and publishing and so on and so forth so really not too tough to get started with blogger and uh, you're up and running I also just realized I should mention and make sure it's clear that you don't need to know HTML and there's going to be times when it's really going to be helpful but in this particular view I'm in the HTML edit HTML view and if you click over on compose you get a different view and uh, a more um, capable set of controls to use and there it will do the work for you so if I type something in here and I use the controls I don't see the HTML, I don't need to know the HTML behind the scenes, but if I click back to edit HTML, I actually do see it, and it's kind of a neat way to, to learn some HTML as you're going along, but I just wanted to make sure it was clear that it wasn't essential to use that kind of code on a regular basis when you're putting together your blog posts. And that concludes this tutorial on how to go ahead and start your own blog using Blogger, and I suggest you go ahead and give it a shot, and happy blogging!